do I feel that the new, more simple age of rap will stunt my my growth or will take away from anything I do? I don't. I don't feel I have anything that's too strong for it. I just feel it's too different. There will always be there will always be the listeners that want that that realness. Cause I don't like, I don't feel that that type of music or that type of rhyme pattern or that type of style it has any longevity. I think it's something that comes and goes. Whereas when you have when you have a way of changing flows, like I couldn't tell you one flow. I couldn't I couldn't tell you what my flow is. I don't feel I have a flow. I feel I just adapt to whatever it is at the time that I'm working with. And when I compare that to this new, this new era of UK rap, which is more gimmicky, more simple, more about how animated you are, I don't, I don't, comp I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm so sure that it can never break it, but at the same time, it can be bigger, way bigger, way bigger. Trust me, because the the the. It's like, it's like this, you got simple people that would just watch telly then you got certain people that only watch telly to watch like a certain film or a certain programme because it's challenging for them, you know what I'm saying? But that audience can't beat the people that watch the everyday, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's, it's crazy, like, that's certain people's hustles, like certain people get in the game just for that, you know what I mean? Just for that quick bounce. No, no, it's not, it's not like that. Mm. I'm, I'm kind of old school with it. It's more, it's more like when I, it's more like when I listen to um, artists, whether it's rap music or, or I don't know, like rock. I don't know, like any type of music. I'm always looking for. Like personality in the music. You want to know what that person's about. You know what I'm saying? It's more the story you can picture. You can capture some emotion from it. Yeah, you want to capture what that person's feeling. You know, like it might be something you've never gone through, but because you feel the pain and not even the pain. How that word? The, the word pain is used a lot in rap lately, and I don't think it's credible enough. People talk about oh, da da da. Or oh, this, I got short. Or oh. I know that someone tweeted you about you don't. I don't. Pain I don't. Yeah, I don't express pain through my music. Yeah, someone tweeted me saying, "Oh, you you got, you got a lot of pain. Like, you don't express it through your music." I said, "What's pain?" He said, "Oh, you lost like da, 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 this amount of friends." I was like, "That's not pain. I don't feel that's pain. That's just that's something I've had to go through as, as part of life. Bro. I lost a lot of people, bro. family, friends." School friends, people out from my, my neighborhood, from my estate. I lost a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? I don't see it as something I should glorify if you feel sorry for me or rape me more. You know what I mean? Nah, it's, it's, it's not something I. You don't want to portray that lifestyle. Yeah. It's not that something. could be seen through over representing death. The and death and thing, yeah, you see it. It's definitely something you have to accept. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really, you know, that's not pain for me. Pain is, pain is like being conformed to society, like having to do something because it's normal when you know it's nothing along the lines of what you want to do. You want to go out there and make something happen for you. But because you're so small in this big world, your dreams ain't, ain't, ain't 1% of what the reality is. That's the pain of waking up in the morning knowing, well, I want that and I know I can get that, but there's so much things stopping me from getting that out of my control. That's that's the pain for me, bro. The pain is knowing you've got a talent and knowing there's like millions of people that need to see, hear, feel this talent and they're not. That's more pain for me, you know what I'm saying? The pain is like. The pain, the more pain, pain, I measure pain by how far away you are from your dream. You know what I mean? That's pain for me. So yeah, relating to like, work rate and recognition. Do you feel like 
this industry is basically related to who you know because like we say you've got a lot of quality music that's been out there mm -hmm. and you work quite independently with a tight-knit team mm -hmm. and do you think that if you were willing to maybe sacrifice some of that pain that you were talking about and conform to mm -hmm. what the masses want do you think that your career would have taken a different path? Definitely. Definitely. I feel I could be out there with all the... with all the... the household names, if you want. From the UK scene today, I feel... it's nothing. I don't feel it's anything musically you're separating, separating us. Not at all. I think it's who you know, where you've come from, how you've socialised, how much of your original creativity you, you like sacrificed. It's just how far you're willing, you're, you're willing to go. Like, it's not about selling yourself off, it's about selling yourself to. I feel certain people just I don't know, you got in the game today, you looked at the top 10 guys, you thought, you know, there's some way I have to get in between them, I'm going to work with all of them, I'm going to do what they do, he made that type of video, I'm going to do something along those lines, uh, I'm not going to get too difficult with it, I'm going to spit simple because he did it and he's number one. That's a bit scary, man. it's not really, it's not something car. It's not something I even think about. If at the end of the day, and I mean at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and it's all in concrete and that, I will know, however I got, however far I got, however much I did, I did it with a team of people and a group of supporters that liked it for what it was not for what it tried to be, not for what it was made to be, from by what it was, what I created, what they ran with, you know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'd be happy to take that, I'll take that with me, you know what I mean? I don't really... One thing I'm scared of is someone, that is me getting so to a certain level and people be like, oh, but he only did that because he, he made that song, or, oh, but God, my man boss him. Or, oh, but he's just, nah, it's not really, I don't, I feel I'll be way more bigger, it's like Jada Kiss and Styles and that, that's like a perfect example, they man should have a lot more status and money to show what they've done for rap, for hip hop, for New York rap, like, but they didn't, why? I don't know. I don't know. We only know the big ins and outs, but basically we know that. Bro, they was doing some shit to just be in the limelight. But that weren't really them. You know what I mean? But they was tied up in that shit. And when they wanted to do what that was really them, it's like the time had gone. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather do that first. You know what I'm saying? Push it to the limit. Do what I'm doing, you know what I mean? But still. Like, you have to play into the minds of these people, innit? you don't have to do what they're doing, but you have to do something that's respectable, that's respectable in their eyes, as in, well, that can cut you, you know? like, so they can't even say nothing bad about it, you know, like, just put it down like that, boom. It's not your thing, it's my thing, but no, you cannot, like, Respect the thing, please. Yeah. Well, you know my number, confident, but sometimes gas like he's on you. And I've got ladies in the west like Kanye. Haunt it, get the keyboard, let cons flip. Oh, man, that shit's pucker, makes my heart race. My heartbeat is the streets, cause I hug that. To be honest, I don't even know if it's hard back. Enemy boy, come around, I'm a slug. So my brother, watch my back and George, you know I got that. Got to leave a niggas with spinning like a horse cat. Spin, spin. G-ish, this ain't pop rap right? Send my little dog across the street and tell him pop that And when you finish, just hop back
that tune is a mad thing. That tune is a mad thing, bro. Bro, I'm telling my man, he's a point. The man says, I got chicks in the West. The third verse is a mad thing, you know. Jimmy. That little hungry. I'm going to get to the next one. 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 I'm going to get to
my big cousins here. Yeah, my big cousins here. That's how. And I, I used to always hang around with the older boys in school. Like, I had like my brethren in my year and that, that I go with. But like, we used to go like things that like, before school we'd come kick ball in the morning. I used to go with the older lot. After school and like, remember, I used to be with them, man, innit? So I was always with the older lot and that, innit? Khan's is just about Khan's. Is, Khan's is just a cool nigga, innit? Like, Khan's is little brother I went to our school as well. In the year below me and that. Like, me and him was cool. Like, it's always just been, like, good people there. It's always just been love, like, innit? And then, um, when I left, when we left school, and I was still doing garage these times, still um, I'm seeing my cousin, same cousin, that's in the years come, brought me to kind of say, oh, man, I made a speech, you know, you should go to the studio, boom, 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 boom. Go to Khan's, da da da, these times. I didn't even record tunes these times, I just got radio and spit live, you know, like that. Khan's giving me beats and I'm like, yeah, this is, but it's not garage. You know that, like, it's not garage though. But at the same time, I wouldn't even call it a rap, it was like, it was fast, like, bare bass, boom, like, it was one of them ones, innit? So I could, I could get, I could get down with that stuff. Like. CD or oh, he burnt me like a CD had like 10 beats on there and I used to just write to them like whenever like I make a new bar I'll go and write to them I must have recorded like only one out of that 10 but I still remember barely beats today innit? but that was it I left it alone that's when like radio used to get locked off all the time obviously when it goes to your record tunes I said right oh, music's kind of long these times I was young as well I could have been what 17 I was just doing, you know what, just doing what a young little nigga does, bro. Just, just doing my thing, innit? Must have came back to Collins when I was like 18 going 19. 18 going 19. I came back to Collins now. Music's a bit up level. I'm a bit more wise now. Like, I've seen a bit more shit on the road, like, some shit I wasn't meant to see. Just had stuff to talk about, you know what I'm saying? started rapping now because garage was dead these times i wasn't even feeling it at all i wasn't feeling the beats i thought the bars was corny i thought it was simple i thought everyone was just picking up a mic i thought this is long you know what i'm saying i was rapping and bare man weren't rapping either you were spitting garage or you just weren't rapping that's when i was rapping you know what i'm saying i used to be in studio all the time i'm sure i've got about 30 songs that I made when I started started rapping again with Collins, you know, that no one ain't ever heard. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was finding myself. Banging up. Me and Collins used to do oh, Collins, Collins would tell you used to do some crazy nights, no sleep. It's all it's all it's all daylight and that and the only reason we stop recording is because bro, people getting up for work, we don't wanna make up noise and that. You know that that's how it was bro. It was crazy. But I enjoyed it still. Um, Khan's is just, you know what, man, Khan's is a few years older than me, he treats me like his little brother, like, we've done mad shit together, it's just a family, like, Khan's is just, it's not, no, it's not like man said, yeah, I've got this producer, I've got this, all this, it was really, what, Jimmy, what, what Jimmy Smith, tell him to come here, you know, one of them ones, it was like, no, it was that still, man. So it was a long time, you know. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, it's a good thing still for people that, people from the outside come and see how we are, 
and they respect it. It's like, you know what I mean? That's, you know, you know, you know, on the phone. It's love. Man. In terms of collaboration, you're quite an exclusive artist. Yeah. You don't really mess with any and anyone. Features wise, especially GMT2, it's more vocalist based features rather than anything else. Mm -hmm. Is this conscious decisions that you've made throughout your career to kind of keep your music exclusive? Yeah, I don't like to. I don't like to mix mix up myself in too much into what other people are doing. I don't like to get labelled. I don't want to carry people's burdens and such. And I don't want to ride no one's wave, so to speak. I don't want no one to think that. You know what I'm saying? I do, like, see me, yeah? I do music with people that I'm cool with, bro. Anyone you saw me do a, do a, a song with, with someone that I actually was, thought was cool or respected as a person, anything other than that, it won't work. Because I'm not being true to myself. I'm not going to do it just because people want to hear it if I don't feel on certain terms with that person. Not that I don't like them, but I just might not feel, well, our music's compatible. But, Having said that, there's a lot of artists that I wish I would have worked with, but I haven't. And that's something that I need to work with. Man. What's the main I didn't mean to walk no more. Trying to stay on this side of the I hate saying that life is fair. I take the cards that are dealt to you. But I'm gonna get money, money, money. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Money, I need it now so I can spell it all tomorrow. I ain't trying to lend it and I ain't trying to borrow. Don't stock on Twitter, they just trying to get a follow. Me, I need that pound, I need that yen, I need that dollar. Got a bad chick rolling up with me. A she don't even smoke, she rolling up for me. Niggas talk about rolling up on me, but they gas cause they always rolling up on E. Selling threats via web, we don't fear that. Cause I'm an old school rider, bareback. Out here, trying to do this thing at I love my freedom, but for the money I risk that To bring the peas in, I bag up the grub and link cats They're linking me cause they know I'm fucking with big raps Peng budge, piff crack I can turn two O's of each into six bags I can burn through or over weed like a chain smoker No license up in cunch in a bait motor Grab a couple buds off the haze grower Switch it every week, I never keep the same blower Just in case Jake's phone us, impersonating fiends Gathering intelligence, they heard we're making peace They're trying to catch us slipping fam, they wanna bird the team I got these dickheads claiming that they wanna murder me I live my life without fear They wanna know where I've been, I've been out here I was thinking about that today, but I need to do that yeah, yeah. Remember's getting better yeah, yeah. No, I don't yeah. know that I guess in the Fixing and barking, fixing them and they're barking at me. Uh, there's only certain men I know that can certainly cook, but I don't know about everyone. Oh, look, 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 <laughs> he's so cheeky, bro. They had to, they started banning him up. Watch, his players tell him no, you can't do that, bro. So away from music, you're a football fan, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big, big football, big follower of football. Love football, love it. You know team? Love my team, man. <laughs> Manchester United. Champions, all, all 10 to all 11 to you. Shame we couldn't get the Champions League, but obviously we lost to the best team. Probably, possibly the best team ever, club team ever. 
so we can't really complain about that. But Man United are always been a Man United fan, just for the fans. Like I've always, it's never been another team. Ain't no glory, hello. Get that out of there. I follow my team. Like Man United is my team, isn't it? So it's football like you're recluse away from music. Yeah, football's my comfort zone, man. Yeah. Bro, when all else is pissing me off, when everything in this world is annoying, I'll go football. You know, like, I could be going through a maddest thing in my life, I'll still find time to play football. I just forget about everything when I play football, bro. Everything. So you play regularly? I play every week. I try to play twice a week, but I definitely play every week I play football. You know what I'm saying? And I, I watch a lot of football. Football just... No, every, I don't know. I don't know how it is, but I say everyone, like everyone I grew up around and just wanted to play football. Like most men, what breaks my heart is when I see men like on the roads or men keeping up a crud that they don't have to when they can play. A man can play and you watch man play and you're like, what? You know, when you watch man play, he's like, he's a whole different person. You're like, what? Oh my. It's crazy, bro. No, I love when I see the little ones playing football and they come up and they're good, bro, and they go places. Like, football's sick, that's the best way to get paid. Just kick ball. Why not? And you're shutting man down. Like, good footballers do things. It's crazy, bro. I don't know, bro. Everyone, big up everyone that plays football, I swear. No matter what you do, bro, big up everyone that kicks ball and loves football, bro. Football. Is it? It's not easy, sorry. I'm gonna think this one to you. Three in a row, cuz. Yeah, I scored one. Oh, you, you have to move one. Yeah, I'm saying the ball. You have to move one. You have to move one. Good ball. No, but you doubted me. Let's go. First time, yeah? Come, come and finish it. Come. We all want it. Expectations of a normal UK rap mixtape. I want GMT2 to compete with those making the same music genre all over the world. I want to go down in history as something that's influential on the UK game. And I, want it to, I just want to be a classic. Nothing less. I want to be a classic. Something that I've worked hard on. And I feel it should get its due praise. I feel it, bro. You know type I pull my hood like a tractor I had X pills I never watched X Factor I shoot to hit phone when we tryna get at ya I make them fly through the walls Casper That's if you wanna take it that far I make the roof fly Don't bring me in your flat dog I was breaking down bugs into packs fast even when I spat grime, I was a rap star Niggas took hard, but they British gas star You came and strapped and you ain't that hard 